Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to tell you how to undervolt your graphics card. And you're going to need two different softwares, MSI Afterburner and Tech Power Up GBP UZ. MSI Afterburner will actually be the one doing the undervolting and potentially overclocking if you want to mess with it. And GPU Z will help you find your uh, your voltages, what voltages your card is actually running at. And so I'm not going to show you how to install it, but after you get it, um, you open up MSI Afterburner, and it'll look something like this, I believe. Not that. Look like. Let me find it here. Uh, yeah, it looks something like this. Uh, no, it's fine. It looks something. It'll look like something. But basically, you just hit Control F, and you see your voltage curve, so that's not the stock curve actually, let me put on the stock profile real quick. Can you not? Hello? Why is it doing that? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think my MSI Afterburn crashed. <laughs> let me um, restart that. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Uh, never happens. Okay. Yeah, so that just happens. Alright, so you have this uh, window open up, and you just hit Control F, and you see your voltage curve. And so this is my stock voltage curve. And so your curve will look something like this. And for a GTX 1660 Ti, I recommend you set your curve, your voltage, to around 850 or 900 between there. And that will be like the ideal, I guess, points for your um, GPU. And you just, uh, after you get open up the curve, you just click on whatever node you want, hit Control L, and it'll lock your voltage there. And so to find out what voltage you should actually use, play a really demanding game and just check at your GPU voltage and GPU Z. So just click on sensors, check at your GPU voltage, and uh, once your cards stops going up in temperature uh then you should use that voltage whatever that voltage was and you just look at the voltage hit control f lock it to whatever voltage it is and basically you're off to the races your card should be running a bit cooler i only recommend doing this on thermal throttling laptops if your laptop has a really bad cooler then you might want to do this but I also did it to actually just overclock my system a bit. Um, I noticed that I was only getting around 1800 MHz on the stock clock. But with this undervolted and overclocked um, GPU, I'm getting almost 1900 MHz consistently. And so you just got to be careful with your uh, overclock, right? Just do safe practices, little steps, little steps. If it crashes, not a big deal. It'll just reset and you just go back and retune. I'm not going to tell you how to overclock. Watch a different video on that. I'm not that good at it either. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Only do it if your card is, if your PC is really struggling. And if it really is struggling, you might want to just clean out your fans. Um, that's pretty much it. It might help you improve performance, but most likely it won't. So keep that in mind. It might actually, it'll probably hurt it without uh, overclocking. So, thank you for watching. Um, if this helped you, please like the video. I don't care if you subscribe, honestly. But yeah, if you guys want a video on how to undervolt your CPU, uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching.